Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Sid. He is a dragon and yeah, most dragon characters are bad. But I must say that he is pretty good. So let's compare him with other dragon on this game, okay? So I will compare him to Arania and Duke. Maybe you ask me, what? No Riberta? In my opinion, Riberta is quite good, but she is more suitable to become a chainer instead of finisher. So uh, that's the reason why I choose Arania and Duke, okay? So if you take a look on his attack stats, it is definitely good, okay? 140% much higher than Arania. What Arania? You are really crappy because you only learn 90%. Mm, very bad. And maybe you say, but Chit is inferior than Duke. Don't worry because remember, Sid hasn't got his awakening while Duke already got his okay so in the future Sid will become much much better than duke and like you can see here health stats is really good 60 percent so she is quite dur he is quite durable as a an attacker and for defense and spirit it is just average number nothing so special about it okay and other offensive power he has is he has 125% innate base killer okay so he will deal very nice damage to beast but right now i cannot remember okay from what i can remember the trial maybe only dark ifrit maybe in the future but right now the recent trial are not beast type so i'm i can say shit is not that good for the recent trial but still very good and as a dragon it is really important to have nice jump damage in this department Sid is the best because he has 275% jump damage boost so it is the highest jump damage of this dragon okay and he has that 50% wind resist it is good but not as good as the Veritas of wind version because he absorbed wind attack but it's okay because almost yeah all that happens to the sworn six paladia and you also get five percent mp regen which is yeah standard and basically that's it and because he is a good lb finisher he also get 100 percent faster lb rate so it is very good but other than that, I don't think there is anything special again from Sid other than high jump, high attack stats, okay? So enough about stats, let's take a look on his abilities. So I think he only has two useful abilities. The first is Sky Dragon Scroll and the second, Spine Shatter Dive 0+. The other abilities are good, but I think you will never ever use them. Okay, Sky Dragon Skull is his cooldown ability. It has good effect. Okay, it will negate one physical damage, but it only lasts for one turn. And the downside is you cannot spam this because the duration, the cooldown duration, I mean, is four turns. So if you need um, to spam AoE physical evasion, then bring a character like Jiraiya to the battle. And his strongest jump skill is Spine Shatter Dive 0+. So it deals 18.5 times damage, which is insane because he has nasty jump damage boost. So this means, oh, he will deal awesome damage. But you need to use this after you use your Sky Dragon Squall. Because if you don't use it before, then you will need to wait for 15 turns, which is insane. Okay, and his other other jump abilities are quite good actually okay he can imperil 100% win resist he can break attack defense by 74% magic speed by 74% if you use them after you use sky dragon scroll but the downside is the effects only gonna affect that skill what I mean by that 
let's take a look on Gale Grid for the example. So Gale Grid, if you use it after you use Sky Dragon Scroll, then it will impel wind resist by 100% for 3 turns. On the turns when you deal damage will with Gale Grid, yes, you will take advantage from the wind resist, but you cannot take advantage of that wind resist for your Spine Shatter Dive Zero Plus. So that's also same for his attack and attack defense and magic and spirit break which is kind of downing because that means you need to bring support characters if you want to really multiply his most powerful jump spine shatter dive zero plus okay and for his lb it is good but it's not a jump damage and because he is a dragon he probably spent most of his time on the air so he kind of lack LB crystals okay so that's one of the downside but if you able to fill it uh, every three turns then it will become a good supplemental attack so basically what you want to do when using shit is on the first turn you use Sky Dragon Squall. On the second turn, you jump using Spine Shatter Dive Zero Plus. On the third turn, you land. And on the fourth turn, you still, your Sky Dragon Squall still need one more turn to refresh, to get refreshed. And on the fourth turn, it is, it is good for you to use his LB to attack the enemy, okay? So I think that's the optimal way to use it. Okay, so I think that's enough about his abilities. Now let's take a look on his equipment. So for equipment, simply equip spear of course. And most spear able to give you jump damage boost. But here I want to say, I'm not sure whether you can exceed 300% cap. Okay, I don't know for stats. Yeah, actually right now it is 400% for stats but for killer effects from what i know it is still capped on 300 percent i don't know whether it is same for jump damage or not okay but just in case you know you can exceed 300 percent then maybe it is good idea to give him more jump damage boost if you cannot do that then equip him with martial glove to above his attack stats. Enough about equipment, my conclusion for Sid. So in my opinion, the best feature about Sid is the damage he can deal within one turn. You can see it on the screen, he can deal 74 times damage within one turn with 300% jump boost. That's amazing, right? Yes, that's amazing. But remember, you need to wait three turns. On the first turn, Sky Dragon Squall. On the second turn, you use Jump. On the third turn, this attack gonna land. Three turns. So if you divide the damage by three, that means he deals 25, yeah, about 25 times damage within one turn, which is not that special. Okay, because yeah, Cloud, Cloud can deal about with double Climb Hazard. 20 times damage and if you remember Dark Knight Lunet if you fight against demon enemy then he able to deal more damage than Sid per turn okay but some bosses has nasty threshold attack so sometimes it is better to bring character like Sid who able to deal this kind of attack to kind of bypass the threshold attack instead of yeah delaying by doing little little damage per turn okay for example just take a look on gilgamesh okay gilgamesh has yeah nasty threshold attack okay if i remember correctly he has something like instant death or whatever but below 50 percent you can kill odin okay not gilgamesh sorry guys odin then on situation like that Sid is really good because he can bypass that threshold 
and force the enemy to take other action okay and he also has super strong beast killer actually not super strong it is only 125 percent but remember you can use his beast spindle if you fight against beast enemy because it is stronger than his spine shatter so that's it basically his other abilities mm, i don't think they are good he is not a breaker simply bring other breaker okay they are kind of gimmick in my opinion for trust mastery word it is good especially for dragon so yeah many many players mistake my word okay when i say trust master bad i can say that this seed trust master reward is kind of bad because it has limited use okay it is not advent it is not good for most general characters on this game only good for dragons i know it is good because you you get two double hand you get jump damage you get faster lbv rate but yeah what i mean by not good is because you cannot take you cannot take the full advantage from the trust master for super trust master reward it is the strongest win spear on this game it is also two-handed so it is perfect for two double hand character like him but from what i read on japan many players make it into dual wielder because that will make his jump damage twice okay really insane damage feel free to experiment with that what i don't like about him this setup turns after using spine shatter you have one turn without anything to do okay yes you can jump but basically you waste two turns okay because you only need to wait one turn but because you use jump you be you need to wait two turns see so it is just a waste in my opinion so i think that's all about it he is pretty good if you like dragon and op finisher okay i can give him yeah perfect 10 he can become perfect 10 like i said he is one of the best damage dealer on the japan right now he's rank number four on ultima but i think for my personal i only give him 9.3 times okay i not not three times 9.3 out of 10. compared to arania and duke oh boy those two are kind of bad okay simply use it if you love dragon or Riberta if you need a dragon chainer for duke he has some uses not some uses but he has a use when you fight against dragon because he has about 200 percent dragon killer so that's insane so i think that's all you need to know about it thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy for fx vs guys bye bye guys